In September of 1859, the skies above Earth came alive. Curtains of red, green, and purple lights rippled across the night, not just in the polar skies, but as far south as India, the Caribbean, and even Central America. For people of the time, it was astonishing. Farmers, sailors, and townsfolk stopped in their tracks. Some thought the heavens were burning. Others believed the end of the world had come. And for many, it was simply terrifying. On the morning of September 1st, an English astronomer named Richard Carrington looked into his telescope. He had been tracking a cluster of dark sunspots. But that day, something extraordinary happened. A sudden blinding flash of white light erupted on the solar surface. It lasted just five minutes, but it would change history. Carrington had unknowingly witnessed the first recorded solar flare. Billions of tons of charged particles were hurled into space. And only 17 hours later, those particles slammed into Earth's magnetic field. The result? A cosmic hammer blow. Telegraph systems, the internet of the 19th century, were thrown into chaos. Machines sparked and caught fire. Paper burned on desks. Operators were jolted with shocks strong enough to throw them back. Some telegraphs continued working even when disconnected from power. The storm itself was powering the wires. Meanwhile, the skies above turned surreal. In New York, people stepped outside at midnight and read their newspapers by aurora light. In Havana, Cuba, astonished locals watched the night sky glowing blood red. In the Rocky Mountains, miners woke early, thinking it was dawn. And in Queensland, Australia, residents saw skies so bright, they thought a great city must be burning beyond the horizon. Across the world, the night was brighter than the day. It was later named the Carrington Event, after the man who'd happened to see its beginning. But humanity had only glimpsed its true power. Here's the chilling thought. That was 1859, a world before power grids, before satellites, before internet, and still it was chaos. So what if a storm like that struck today? Scientists warned that consequences would be catastrophic. Satellites could be fried instantly. GPS, navigation, and communication networks could fail worldwide. Power grids might collapse across entire continents. Transformers blown beyond repair. Millions, even billions, suddenly in the dark. Imagine cities without electricity. Hospitals running on failing backup power. Airplanes grounded worldwide. Banks frozen. No ATMs. No online transactions. Food and water supply chains would break within days. Without refrigeration, stockpiles would rot. Without fuel, deliveries would stop. And in modern megacities, tens of millions packed together, panic would set in fast. People cut off, not just from the internet, but from survival itself. And this nightmare scenario isn't just fantasy. In 2012, a massive solar storm almost as powerful as the Carrington event erupted from the sun. If Earth had been in its path, the damage would have been unthinkable. By sheer luck, it missed us by about a week. The truth is, the Carrington event wasn't a one-off. Solar storms of that scale strike once every few centuries, which means we are due for another. Our sun gives us warmth, light, and life, but it also carries the power to humble us in a single flare. Our greatest technologies, everything we depend on, could vanish overnight. The question isn't if it will happen again. The question is when. Sometimes history sucked. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the next deep dive into history's wildest moments.